clip it will get you guys to understand the more concept about all the goats that we have in Zimbabwe some of these goats are easy to find to me the only difficult goat to find is mainly the boa goat and to get pure breeds if you're going to go into pure breeding it means that you're going to have to spend a lot of money if you're doing it that you're not too comfortable please try to look for things which are easy the easy ones which I'd say is look for the um, for the Kalahari red which is easily available and the local goats which are always heavily available but the market now we're coming back to the major thing the market where do you sell these goats goats and I have for me when I'm in my community here it's easy I talk to a few people oh I'm selling goats it does not take me more than a day I'll have someone who's asking hey can I buy goats um but when you want to do this really as a business you're looking at probably producing 100 150 but you need to be able to to make sure that you're always producing those big numbers now market is always going to be a difficult area so i always say to people who want to do goat farming please know where you want to sell them it's good to have these animals vaccinations are very important to make sure that the vaccination vaccinations in zimbabwe easily available you will find them at five feet farm and city there i am not worried about vaccination but your problem is going to always be where do you get the um where do you find the market the market if i tell you to go to the cc sales waste of time because there no one really buys goats in those large quantities butcher if you can find your own butcher and butcher your own goats and put in your own shop you will easily find yourself in a new market which is still really yet to develop here in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is not like how most of Africa is like I have been to Tanzania whereby you really see goat being sold everywhere in the road and it's easily available. Here in Zimbabwe goat is not yet readily available as a there's also the other business which is avail also available sheep. Sheep farming is also not yet big in Zimbabwe. We do not have a lot of people who do sheep. But they are there. There are a lot of farmers who do sheep. But in Zimbabwe, I think we only really have two types of sheep which are easily available. One is the doper. Sheep that is available. These are big carcasses. These will really gain a lot of weight. I have seen them myself. They really gain a lot of weight. Good to have, but also an expensive breed. They are about 150 between 150 to 300 dollars for for these sheep so getting them to, to, to purchasing them it means that you're putting in quite a lot of investment into it you need to make sure that also they are grass fed when the dry season comes you also need to be able to think about supplementing and um, feed so this is also a project which is a bit difficult that's why they are very expensive the dopa nice big breed they can weigh anything between 100 to 150 depending on how they're fed the other sheep that is normally found here is called the persian sheep i mean i hope i pronounced it correctly i'll write it down but it's the persian sheep these sheep are not they really don't gain weight fast they take a long time to grow and again they are twin they don't really twin they're not twinning but the dopers i think are more on the twinning side but the persians do not twin as much as as you'd want and their growth rate they've got skinny legs um a big body build but they take time to grow so i don't want to lie to you goats sheep are not really popular and also i have noticed that if unless if you get loads of them whereby the market is there is a market for them because we have got the indian community which looks for sheep but they will tell you where to spars looks for sheep but they will tell you where which um where to get them slaughtered so that it follows their religion and all that but to get this um to get those kind of numbers you need to be making sure that you're getting you're releasing at least 40 at a time for it to make financial sense sheep are much more easier to maintain than goats on the basis that sheep really do not move cross-country like goats cross-country as i mean that sheep wants 
once you put them in one area you will most likely find them in that same area if you come looking back for them goats you leave them here you will probably not find them there you will have to travel so these are the things that these are the kind of animals that are easier to maintain they do not they do not give so much um you do not need to invest a lot but they will give you back return on investment depending on how you manage them these are the this is i think is the most i can talk about sheeps